gigs they come up or other things so one-offs maybe rappers need you um exactly you ever and mind you i wasn't you? fucking with the track that then, then yet um the track how me and the track uh, came about well so me and the track know each other from like from from early 2000s uh but we relinked up around 2010 2011 i did a, he asked me to dj for one of his uh his he had a book release part okay he was releasing a book with pictures of uh, detroit the city of detroit he had went to detroit so he kind of documented his uh, his trip over there and he released he released a book and he asked me to dj that night and then like after at the end of the night he was like yo that was super dumb was like he's like yo I'm doing a show in a couple of days. Do you, do you want to be my DJ, man? I'm like, yo, fuck. For sure, fam. Let's go, you know, like, because I've always been a fan of the track before. And even before in the early, at the early stages of his career, I was his back vocalist. When I was like, when I was leaving rap and I was like starting other things, I, that's when I met the track and I left rap while I was his back vocalist or like his hype man, pretty much. That's how I got like, out of rap i stopped did rapping ever, then I, did I you ever vocal. get to go on tour as a dj yes with the track okay because i we, didn't know we, i don't really know who that is but i know who it is because you said his name okay so the track is a is a french it's a french uh rap artist from from gatineau he uh he's been rapping for a minute and he lived also in montreal for for, for quite a minute too and um yeah he's pretty much known for being a, a, a you know a crazy writer his bars are fucking you know super up there and recently he just uh, released a new project with nicholas craven okay uh, craven so yeah so they just released a whole album produced by nicholas craven and in there there's a track featuring akhenaton from i am the the group that sounds called que tout monde connaît so non, yeah, dude, so when you say tout mon connaît, hold the ne connaît pas. Ne jamais entendu parler du groupe I am. So here's the thing, man. Like the last year and a half of my life has been really heavily focused on Anglo hip hop in Montreal. Not on like uh, I don't care about the French side, but like there's not a lot of people that focus on the English side, and some people gotta be. Now as time goes but even on, then, so growing up, growing up. Bro, I barely you, you spoke fucking heard. French, dude. I fucking hated French okay. on some so language go, politics shit. But then I got older and I learned to speak fucking French. And then I don't really get bars in French like the way y'all do. So it's like, yo, I just listen to dudes rapping French and I'm listening to it. It's not like I listen to it again and it clicks any different. It's like I get it at the superficial levels and I get how things rhyme, but... I do not understand yeah, French hip hop in the way that I understand English hip hop. I'm 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 very I'm very picky when it comes to like I French rap. Right, mob. So like like I, oh, I had a day hey, job. Mob, my dudes, yo, that's fucking dialect and fucking chat. But like on the other end, like I fuck so like had a you know I worked with Justice McFly in corporate lines. Like he was my day job colleague for like a good chunk of time back when he did that video with fucking Eight Mob for a minute on that album they dropped. Uh, Travis Bryant's a dude I fucking know pretty regular right now. Back Travis, he was on the track, so I did uh, I did dialects chat games uh, mixtape. I mixed it, his mixtape uh, last year or two years ago. No, last year it was during the pandemic, mm. and uh, Travis is on one of the, yeah. the joints. I listen mm. to that shit because hey. Travis is on one of the joints, and I'm like trying to peep that shit. But uh, I also interviewed Carly on Brown, so I got a sense yeah. of his story and some shit. He was really interesting to talk to. Um, yeah, those are my dudes, man. Like, yo, Carly on and, and Chad, man, go way back, man. Way yeah, back. man. And like, for me, it's like, again, I'm just getting introduced to it all now, but. The other side of it is like there's a lot happening on the French side and it's like I should care more, but it's so hard sometimes to like like it takes real effort to consume French media like that. Like it's no, not especially and, and, and you, you and you you know, you just said it everything when you said that you, you, you don't speak much French. No 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 up. I am like but like currently like I speak French, right? But like growing up I mean. Yeah, growing like, up it was more like because uh, y'all may not know this, but if you have parents that were like 
mad English and didn't speak French in 95, you felt like it was a different vibe growing up at that point than it would have like been. So like, like so like there is no fucking French music <laughs> in my life. Like and then back then, man, like it was like Saint Sparella, like it was a couple other joints you would hear, but like everyone just kind of made fun of French music like all the time. I don't even know if it was deserved or not. All things considered, now we were kind of really mean to an entire scene of music on some language politics shit. But then like you get older and like you realize French is pretty fucking asset. Like yo. Gosh, man, I've gotten laid Wait, off of speaking French, that. bro. <laughs> but so my, like, my boy, Dyke, yeah. my boy, Dyke has been, you know, in the, in in the game for a minute. Right, right, my bad. And in 2018, we were blessed enough to represent Canada in China as the French language, and we did a tour for three weeks in China. So we did we did 21. No, we did. Hold on, we did. 11 shows in 10 different cities in 21 days in China in 2018. Wow. That was probably the last time it was safe to go there. Yeah. hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. I'm probably one of the last people that would ever set foot in China compared to a lot of people. Oh, especially yeah. in that context. Yo, what was March, it like, bro? March, March, 2018. So yo, bro, it was crazy, man. We like, like, and it sucks talking about it because I know that I would probably never relive something like that again in my life. But I mean, it was beyond amazing. Like, bro, like we were, we were getting like, you know, the, 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 the red carpet treatment, like each city we had like fucking diplomats from the, the, the Canadian embassies coming to pick us up and make sure that we were all good. And like, you know, everything from a to z like we were bro we were like considered diplomats because we were there to represent canada for the french language that is some of the wildest shit i heard and a definite asset to learn how to speak why people should speak french so all love to french today i just want to make that clear but that's wild um i'm gonna bump it like i've actually made more of an effort in the last like while to like play french songs here and there that's how i know i don't get the bars <laughs> Cause like, but the flows, the way it sounds, just to put like you in perspective, just to put you in perspective, the 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 um, the collabo he made on this album with Nicholas Craven and Akhenaton from I Am, Akhenaton is pretty much like the equivalent of Jay Z in French rap, like since the beginning. Okay, that's just to put you in perspective who that guy is that he made a record with. That's really fire. I'm yo, I'm really Great. happy with the Quebec scene lately, like. All like the language shit aside, like it's just amazing to see people in my city and in my place like pop and get the love that like the culture and the city has just deserved for so fucking long. Because I really see that starting to happen. Like people are starting to, you know, it's wild. People give a shit about France rap in New York City. Do you know how? Do you know how good that is for kid rap? I think that's what it's called. Rap, Keb, Keb, Rap. One of those two. Fucking know, bro. I'm so fucking out of this shit. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to catch up on the French shit. But, like, then there's so many English people, bro. And it's, like, this maze of but again, names. Like but said, that's amazing. I was, earlier, I was saying earlier, too, I'm very picky when it comes to French rap. So, I'm like, yeah, I talk about, like, if I listen to a lot of French rap, but I don't. I'm very, I'm very, like, picky. Like, it's not everybody that I like. And yeah, even when it comes to like French rap from 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 Europe or from France, I was growing up. I was very limited into what I liked and what I didn't. If you had a like heavy French accent that I couldn't understand, I wouldn't even bother. I was like, no, I can't. I can't listen. It's like I much. can do the cadence and flow thing. Um, like I heard a lot of like Russian shit because I ended up working with some Ukrainians for the That's last really, couple of years. That's Willie. He's a dude. Man. Yeah. Um, I heard him though. Like he ended up working with this chick misunderstood recently, so I was like, I gotta go show her love because I think he's involved in the history thing. Like, or he was involved in a contest with them or something. And I know a few of these dudes' names now because they're on the bus. Like Connoisseur and somebody was like, they were on the bus. There you go. Connoisseur is a you know Connoisseur is an OG. And then I'm like seeing the the fucking names pop up more. I saw Enema got like fucking crazy numbers the other day. Like, so it's yeah. like. Yo, like, I love the fact that it's being shoved down my throat the way it is organically on wins and successes. 
Like it's and then you're watching a bunch of dudes holding up plaques and awards and it's like, yo, that's like that's here. <laughs> it's not other places. That's here. You know, and it's fire to me. Thank you.